Welcome to Belinda's Country Living. Good morning, afternoon, and evening to all my YouTube family and friends. Today's going to be a quick video. I'm going to show you how to make sweet tea using a coffee pot. You'll have to brew this on your stove. Now, I've got a package of Lipton tea. And this is used um, the restaurant style. Now, I got this at Gordon's Food. So, I'm so used to using this back when I had my restaurant. It's very good tea. And y'all know in a restaurant, when they have their tea, it's really good. Well, this is what they're using. And they have a, a large commercial bun coffee maker. And it, they also do their tea with it as well. I did that when I had my restaurant. So, I have a, just a bun coffee pot. It's for residential use. And it brews coffee in three minutes. And if you're like me, I love my coffee and I'm impatient. So that's why I prefer to use a bun coffee maker. It will have your coffee in three minutes. So that's how we're going to make our tea today. So I have a filter, just as you would if you're making coffee. And this is a pretty large bag of tea. So I'm going to use half this bag. Now, you can use the large Lipton tea bags. Now, when I use the tea bags, I use about three of the large tea bags. And I'll use my basket. But I do not use the filter when you have the Lipton tea bags. And this isn't a bag. It is a bag, but the tea is loose. <clears throat> so put your filter in there, and I'm just using half of this, and it's super fine. Don't try to use the whole bag, because then uh, it'll just spill over. So just put this in your coffee pot. You can use any coffee pot that you have. If you have a Mr. Coffee, do it. Just put your filter in there and make your tea. Now I should be able to get three pots out of this. We'll see. And you'll see how fast this makes this tea. That's all there is to that. And I got a, a half a gallon and I'm gonna use one cup of sugar. <clears throat> now, if you don't like sweetened tea, then omit the sugar. I'm gonna rinse this out. We get all that sugar out of there. <clears throat> the frog in my throat again. I'm still waiting on my um, chicken casserole to get done. I've done a video of that, so you might want to go watch that. Just be a few minutes. Hope y'all having a wonderful day today. <clears throat> sure is pretty here in Indiana. Put down in your comments where you're, you're watching from and how's your day been going. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And if any of you out there has watched the video on Wilma, she's 96 years old, such a sweetheart. She's got a birthday coming up, August the 2nd, 
and I'll get her a little cake and, and a little gift. But she loves getting cards. So if you watch her video, I know a lot of you have commented on Wilma. Um, if you could just take just a few minutes out of your day, send Wilma a card. I'll leave my address in the um, in my description. Um, send her a card. Send her a birthday card. Just send her a shout out. She will love it. So see, my tea's almost done. It's getting there. I had to turn my oven off. So it rained here in Indiana this morning when I got up. And I had planned on going out working in the yard and the flowers today. But the rain stopped me. But I think that was the Lord telling me, Belinda, you need to slow down. Because uh, grass don't grow underneath my feet. I'm always doing something. I'm always on the go. I do a lot of things. Take my grandson to work, back and forth. Um, this week he only had to work two days because school's getting ready to resume here in a couple weeks. So they'll have him down to about one day a week. Okay, so that is done. We're going to pour that. There's a pot right there. See that? Just poured it. Oh, my Lord. And that's pretty strong. So I'm going to get another pot out of this. Ain't nothing like good old Lipton iced tea. We'll do this again. Or another full pot. And my pot holds 10 cups. I always like to put something underneath my pot when I pull it out to catch. So, meantime, I'm going to stir that up. And I'm going to add a little bit of ice to that. Let's add some ice. Boy, let me tell you what, if you splash this tea on you, it will definitely stain your clothes. because this is what I'm going to have me some tea. I bought these glasses. They're insulated. And I bought six of these at the Goodwill. They were brand new. And they got the little hummingbirds on them. So pretty. Yeah, if you have anything that suggestions for me, uh, write in the comments what you'd like to see me cook, and I will do my best. I will cook it. There's no doubt about it. But if you request something for me to do, do a video. It may not be tomorrow. Maybe next week. I try to post every Tuesday here lately. I've been doing two or three videos a week when time permits. So I'm trying to catch up on some of these videos. Next week I need to go school shopping for the boys and go to school and meet and greet the teachers. Oh, you gotta love that. Yeah, you gotta love it. My kids are grown, I did that. 
never did expect that I would be doing that for two grandkids. I have uh, raised these grandkids, you know, eight years or so. And uh, so I'm their mother, I'm their father, I'm their teacher, I'm just whatever. And to them, <clears throat> they're like, oh, I'll say, you want to go do something? <clears throat> no. And I said, why not? Because, let me tell you a story. Um, my son was maybe 15, 16, and uh, we went to the grocery store. And some of the girls that he knew at high school saw him. Well, the next day he went to school, they made a comment that uh, his girlfriend was pretty. I'm his mother. And he said, that wasn't my girlfriend, that was my mother. So from there on out, he said, Mom, I am not going nowhere with you again. I thought that was so funny. But yeah, he said, I'm not going nowhere with you. So, so we got still a few more minutes for this other pot of tea. <clears throat> But anyway, that is how you make tea, brew tea. You don't have to get out a pan and get out water and boil it and put your tea in there, your tea bags. And No, today's world, quick, easy, simple. And you get the same result. I promise you, it's the same result. So I'm going to go ahead and pour me a glass. It's still a little bit strong for me. But I think the ice that's in here is going to weaken it. If you got tea, uh, lemons, go ahead and put just some lemon in there. And boy, it doesn't get any better than that. Here in Johnson County, Indiana, the Fair is going on next week. It starts tomorrow. So, I'm going to see if my grandson wants to go. He'll probably say no. <clears throat> but I can take him, just drop him off. Let's try this tea. Oh, I am so telling you, that's good, people. It is really good. So I won't bore you with just this tea. I still got another pot I'm going to put in here. And that will do it. So mark this on your list. Run it through your coffee pot. Get you some Lipton tea bags. Do not put the filter in your basket of your coffee pot. And you got tea in. Mine's usually three minutes, but they could have another coffee pot made ten minutes. But it don't matter. It's good tea. Promise you. Don't forget, please give me that thumbs up. Subscribe my videos. And until the next time, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed Saturday. Sun shining. <laughs>